this one much, I can walk much faster with this one, but the one is more than five kilograms, so not really uh, good for climbing mountains. So let's take this one away. After losing both of his legs in Afghanistan, former Gurkha Harry Budamagar thought his life was over. But in May, he will be the first double above the knee amputee to take on the world's tallest mountain, Mount Everest. After serving for 15 years in the British Army's Gurkha Regiment, Harry was hit by an IED while on patrol. At the time, I thought that my life is finished. Um, I had to um, live my life, rest of, uh, my rest of my life on a wheelchair. But also, um, I would need a care the rest of my life. That's what I thought. So, looking back, <laughs> you know, who thought that I would be climbing Mount Everest? No, I, I n never thought that. Never thought that. But the good thing is about this, you know, when you are positive and you start doing the things and it just opens in the one door and another and you see the opportunity, not just about yourself, but also you create an opportunity for other people as well. Harry had to fight to get the law changed in Nepal, which banned double amputees from climbing Everest. By taking on the mountain, it's his aim to change the negative perceptions that some have around disability. Hopefully this will make awareness of disability and change the perception on people with a disability that they don't ban us or some of people with a disability themselves as well have a courage to um, you know, challenge themselves and live a meaningful life. It'll take Harry three times as long to conquer Everest using an incredible amount of upper body strength. Harry's kind of got a unique challenge in climbing Everest. Um, Harry's climb, by the nature of making it safe, uh, is a totally different uh, climb. And Everest is already expensive, but for Harry it's even more so. Um, so much so that I think after like the costs of fulfilling things, Harry needs to raise about 312, 320,000 pounds to make the climb happen. Um, and he's doing really well, but that's, that's the first mountain and there's a bit of way to go. This was Harry after climbing 6,000 meters to the summit of Mirror Peak. Yes! <laughs> Harry will begin his climb of Mount Everest in May, which will be an extra 3,000 meters. Wow. Well, you know, climbing Mount Everest is slightly more risk. My life has always been risk. I went to the war to protect the people, protect the people, uh, people's freedom. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I'm very, very happy to take a risk uh, for, for other people. And that's always been the case in my life. Lisa Hartle, GB News, London.